Hello guys, this is Ravens from DJ Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 181. Windows 10 PCs and Android smartphones are in danger of being hacked using Bluetooth. The wireless connectivity feature that allows devices to connect and interact with nearby devices. Security experts have discovered as many as 16 vulnerabilities which are collectible being referred to as Bracktooth. These loopholes in Bluetooth technology can potentially impact a large number of devices such as desktops, smartphones, Bluetooth enabled speakers, headphones and many more. Northern Railways is now using robots and UVC technology to sanitize and disinfect coaches to ensure safety of passengers amid the coronavirus pandemic outbreak. The UVC technology is being used for the first time in the Indian Railways in Delhi division in the Lucknow Shatabdi special since July 2021. 4G will remain dominant in India despite the introduction of 5G according to data. Okla CEO Dot Settle says that the data indicates that the market is in very strong position to drive the uptake of 5G services. Earlier this year the Standing Committee on Information Technology was formed that 5G will roll out in India to some extent for specific users by 2022. The Realme 8i and 8s specifications have been leaked online. Now let's talk about the Realme 8i specifications. It comes with a 6.5 inch full HD plus display with a 120 hertz refresh rate. It is powered by a MediaTek Helio G96 processor. It will be having a 50 megapixel triple rear camera and a 16 megapixel of selfie camera. It comes with a 5000 mAh battery with an 18 watt fast charging support. If we talk about the specifications of Realme 8s, it comes with a 6.5 inch full HD plus display with a 90 hertz refresh rate. It is powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 810 chipset. It comes with a 64 megapixel triple rear camera with a 16 megapixel selfie camera. It also comes with a 5000 mAh battery with a 33 watt fast charging support. Realme has officially confirmed the Realme GT Neo 2 handset. This handset has recently appeared on Tina with a model number RMX3370. The Realme GT Neo 2 is set to ship with a Snapdragon 870 processor, 4500 mAh battery and a 6.62 inch display. Google is expected to release Android 12 stable this month. Certain partner OEMs are also anticipated to drop new versions of their mobile software based on the latest version of Android. Following that one such company is Oppo and that is officially started teasing its next major release called Color OS 12. Oppo Enco Buds will launch on September 8th in India. They will arrive as entry level true wireless earbuds. The Enco Buds promise up to 24 hours of playback time. This earbuds will be having a 40 mAh battery. It takes around 120 minutes to charge both earbuds. The charging case has a 400 mAh battery which takes around 150 minutes to charge through a USB type C port. The Enco Buds offers IP54 rated dust and water resistance. The iPhone 13 could support LEO that is low earth orbit satellite communication allowing users to communicate via messages and phone calls even when cellular coverage is unavailable. Being such a unique addition it comes with its own set of limitations. It has been reported that iPhone 13 years sold in certain markets might not get to see this feature from Apple. This emergency satellite feature is only going to work in areas that do not have a cellular present and it is further narrowed down to only a few countries. NASA began flight testing with Jobis Aviation all electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft as part of agency's Advanced Air Mobility National Campaign. The testing procedure will happen till September 10th at Jobis Electrical Flight Base located near Big Sur in California. New Redmi smartphone is in the works to be powered by Snapdragon 870 processor. The phone is also tipped to come with a 6.7 inch full HD plus OLED display with a 120 hertz refresh rate. This device is likely to be succeeded version of Redmi K40 or Mi 11X. Xiaomi 11T and 11T Pro are expected to be launched on September 15th. Xiaomi confirms 120W hypercharge support for the 11T Pro. The Xiaomi 11T Pro might come with a 120Hz OLED panel, Snapdragon 888 chipset and a 5000mAh battery. Realme Pad is confirmed to feature a 10.4 inch WUX GA Plus display. The tablet will have a 82.5% screen to body ratio and a 2000 into 2000 pixel resolution. Realme is also confirmed to launch Pocket and Cobble portable speaker on September 9th. BMW has just offered us a glimpse of the future with another new concept car. This time the company showcased the new iVision circular concept vehicle that is completely recyclable. As per the company the battery used in the car is a solid state battery which is 100% recyclable and manufactured almost entirely using materials sourced from the recycling loop. To make sure it is a completely recyclable the brand doesn't use any paint, leather, chrome and any other material that cannot be reused. 
Acer is prepping up to introduce its smart TVs in India soon. The company confirmed last week that it is expanding its product portfolio with the launch of new TVs in the Indian market. This upcoming Acer TV lineup is expected to launch in India by the end of September. The upcoming Acer TVs will be available in India via Amazon. Apart from Amazon India, this new offering by Acer is also expected to go on sale via Flipkart and other offline stores. As per the specifications of the TV, the above image shows that the TV will have a bezel-less display and we can also see a 4K UHD resolution. On the other side, the Acer TV will run on Android TV operating system. As per the previous leak, the new TV will be available in 32-inch, 42-inch, 43-inch, 50-inch, 55-inch, 58-inch and 70-inch screen sizes. In a latest tweet, IQ Z3 was one of the most hyped mid-range smartphone in the year 2021. From IQ, we are going to see IQ Z5 series smartphones which consist of three variants, IQ Z5, Z5 X and Z5 Pro. We can expect that it comes with an AMOLED screen and a punch hole camera and we also expect to come with a Snapdragon processor. The idea of detachable camera is not new to Vivo. In October 2020, the Vivo IFES smartphone concept was shown. A unique device that was equipped with a detachable camera module which also make it possible to take pictures from a distance. Shortly after its introduction, this innovation was awarded a Red Dot Design Award 2020. A recently published patent shows that Vivo is further developing this technology in the background. Nubia Red Magic line announced a new gaming smartphone in China. The new Red Magic 6S Pro comes with a significant upgrade such as more powerful Snapdragon Triplet Plus processor, a higher touch sampling rate and an improved cooling system. As per the official website, the Red Magic 6S Pro will be announced on Monday on September 27th. Please check out the screen for the three variants of the mobile and the prices of these three variants. A new German government proposal wants smartphone brands to offer 7 years of security updates. The new proposal is 2 years longer than the European Commission's own stated proposal. Hawaii, Samsung and Apple are pushing back against German's proposal right now. OEM stopped supporting a few models just a year after their launch. Flagship and premium mid-range offerings are the only ones that receive security updates for few years while OS level upgrades are limited to 2 to 3 years stop. Leading the pack is Samsung which is promising 3 years of OS updates and 4 years of security patches for its notable device. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.